Hello. Hi, Chef Eric here. Today is Friday. Our fifth live to be in a row. Fish sauce and sesame oil. All stuff I have in my cabinet at all times. And of course, some oil to cook it. So let's start off with tip. <laughs> all right, so let's get cooking. Let's start off with tip number one. Tip number one to get your kids to expand your palate is have your kids chop. They have to chop with you. Your parents and kids together chop. I do that. Every one of my recipes says, parents, you have to prep this accordingly. For this recipe, you're going to take onion, you're going to take bell pepper and chop it into strips like this, okay? Then your kid can use a metal butter knife. Chop with you. Super safe, super easy. Just go like this. Chop, 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 chop. Wow, mom and dad, I'm having the most amazing time ever. You're so busy at work. I don't. I know you're home, but you say I can't bug you and see you because you're working and making money. But this is my opportunity to cook with you. Amazing. Of course, you're gonna have to chop it as well. Again, super simple. Metal butter knife, and then chopping like that. It's onions. You might cry a little bit as well. So that's tip number one. You have to chop with your kids. So many parents don't do this. They don't think it's safe. It is safe. You just have to do it strategically. And the last thing I want to show you is the green onion. Again, this is super easy for kids to chop. Just a metal butter knife and got it all put together. So I just take it and kids chop with. Now granted, this will take five, 10 minutes when you're doing it with your kids, but that is the wonder of these type of cooking style that the kids will cook with you and eat more vegetables and expand their palates. All right, so I got cool little bowls for everything just to make my life easy and organized. And the flow of this recipe, like all recipes that we do, is this. First, you chop. Second, you whisk. Put anything you have to do together. And third is you just cook it. So we did the chopping. A lot of that's been done a little bit now. Now I'm gonna show you how to make your quick sauce. Super easy. What we're gonna do is take, and I have the recipe in the ingredients. I also got it right here because I don't remember measurements, but I said three tablespoons of soy sauce. One, two, three tablespoons. One tablespoon of rice vinegar. This is that wonderful kick. Love rice vinegar. One tablespoon of a fish sauce. This is optional. It's gonna give it that one, it's gonna give it this earthiness to it. I like the flavor. And of course, a couple of teaspoons of sesame oil. A little goes a long way with this guy. And we're good. You can also sweeten it with honey or sugar. I don't think it needs it. I don't, I don't miss it. I find most fried rices at restaurants are just too sweet. I don't like it. I don't think kids should eat it. Just that's all you need. You got this in your cupboard and you're done. So moving on. Number two, tip number two, how to get your kids to expand your pot is use lots of colors. Onions, bell peppers, white, red, green onions, green. Eggs are yellow. Everything pops and the color creates beauty and kids like things that look nice because this will feed, this could feed at least like three or four people. All right, while that's happening, preheat. I want this nice and hot. I'm gonna bring this to the center. Man, look how fast and efficient I'm getting at this. Remember, uh, in each recipe, I show you the parents what you have to do. Parents, you have to cook the rice the day before, chop the chicken, peel the ginger, this guy with a little spoon, or chop it up and chop it and drink it so that when you're cooking with the kids, it's super quick. I'll show you this. All right, so we're gonna get this nice and hot. Put some stuff out of the way that I'm done with. All right, while we're waiting this to preheat, and the cool thing about this recipe is it's, once this gets hot, it's gonna cook really quickly. So what we're gonna do is, tip number three is, to get your kids to expand your palate, expand their palate is cook once a week. Most people aren't doing this. They aren't even cooking once a week with their kids. Just one day, just 45 minutes, make this dish, but you have to like any important activity to get the result of your kid cooking more eating more vegetables, you have to cook with them. 
So do this recipe, do any of my recipes. I got tons of them. And you will see a dramatic change in your kids as they start trying more foods because they're cooking it with you. All right, getting a little bit of heat right there. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I actually have a really wide plate over here. So I'm actually gonna make two little areas. In one area, I'm gonna saute the veggies. In the other area, I'm going to saute the rice. Or saute the, um, the eggs. Everything comes together real quick in this recipe. All right. So I'm going to saute the, air, saute the veggies first. And you can use any veggies you have. Also, you can add um, zucchini, you can add broccoli, whatever things you have that you want to get cooking. And in the other half of this little plate right here, I'm going to add the eggs. And kind of block this over here so it doesn't all mix together. And then once that's done, I'm just going to finish it by putting it all together. Um, adding, add I like to add the arrow, the kind of garlic ginger right before I add the rice so it's nice and fresh. And then uh, chicken, green onion sauce, and we're ready to go. Okay, and finally, tip number four to get your kids to expand their palates is invest in their education to learn to cook. Hire a teacher, hire a professional. That is the most important thing that you can do to really escalate their growth when it comes to health and learning to cook and eating more vegetables. Obviously, I prompted myself for that. What's the best way to hire someone to help your kids to cook is to join the Kids Can Cook Virtual Spring Session. It's a five-week class starting next Tuesday. We have two classes, Tuesday and Wednesday. It's a five-week program for 50-minute lessons each day. Every day we go over, we teach your kids live virtually how to cook a meal, how to cook this dish, how to learn about, and also we teach them about health, nutrients. We teach them about culture and history behind the dish. And we teach them culinary techniques. Like the good, like one thing we could, we could teach them right now is stir fry, because that's what we're doing, we're stir frying. Stir frying is a technique of taking high heat, chopping things really small, and cooking things very quickly, often in a wok with very little oil. Just a great way to cook quickly. So, cooking those eggs, putting them to the side a little bit, cooking those veggies as well. Um, another thing about this program is we are almost sold out, which I'm very excited for. The class starts next Tuesday, and the Tuesday class has, I think, 18 or 19 kids out of 20, and the Wednesday class is about 15 kids out of 20. So if you want to enroll, click the link below, go to liftandrichard.com, click on online session. Again, the cool thing about it is you get the five-week class worth $100. You get the Kids Can Cook Master Class worth $200. You get Healthy Family Coaching worth $200. $500 worth of culinary education for only $99. This is a one-time deal. I'm never doing this again. I'm just doing it now because I want to kind of get it going. And then we're going to be reducing the price a bit, but getting rid of all of those killer bonuses that really add a tremendous value. I mean, this is a steal right here. But we're almost sold out, so I'm I'm very excited for that happening next Tuesday, next Wednesday, uh, to make that happen. All right, so what I'm doing is breaking up that egg, saying, egg, separate yourself. Great thing for kids to do. And remember, in this lesson alone, kids have chopped, they've whisked and mixed together the sauce because you're doing it with them, and now they're cooking. And if you hold it right here and they hold it right there, you'll be fine. All right, I'm gonna use actually two of these because there's so much space. All right. All right, egg is done. I'm gonna put that off over here. Shout out to a couple parents. Shout out to Rebecca who joined our cooking class. Bella, um, who else? We had so many parents join this week. This has been like an awesome week for class lines for our virtual session. Um, I think it's just parents are kind of realizing that they got to have their kids do stuff. There's just not, there's just too much time on their hands. All right, sauteing the onion bell pepper. You can see right here. Hello, Instagram. How you guys doing? I see Insta Liz has joined. Hello, that's my dear fiance. Hope you're doing well at Union Bank, holding down the fort. Is everybody trying to get more loans? All right, I'm gonna add some flavor with the uh, 
the, on, the garlic and ginger mixture. Woo! That, you can just smell that all right here immediately. Stirring that up, stirring that up. I'm gonna give that real quick, maybe 30 seconds, just to give that perfume. I'm gonna actually crank up the heat a little bit more. All right, next, put in all of your flavorings. We got rice, day-old jasmine rice, chicken. Um, I'll, 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 I'll put in some green onions now and some later. And now I'm going to just mix all that up. Now the tricky thing is I'm actually gonna break down the rice because it's all clumped up together. Did you know fried rice was invented in China in the Sui, S-U-I dynasty in 580 BC? That was the first known fried rice that was reported and written down. Why do people like fried rice? It's a great way to use leftover rice. There are a lot of street vendors in Asia. I saw a bunch in Thailand and they just make these wonderful little fried rice, usually with shrimp or chicken or pork. And they just make it right there for you. It's super fresh and delicious. So you make rice, you serve it up, and then you realize you have all this extra. You can reheat it in an oven, in a microwave, in a microwave oven, but it's much better turn it into something new. So I'm going to need a better angle on this so you guys can see what's happening. I'm breaking down the rice because it's all, it's all stuck together right now. I will eat fried rice for breakfast. I actually throw a fried egg on top of it, maybe a little bacon, make it bacon fried rice breakfast. Absolutely delicious. All right, so we're frying all that up. I'm gonna add the sauce. I'm actually gonna season it just Briefly. Salt. All right. It's heating up everything. I'm going to add my sauce, add my egg. All this cooking is is just prepping everything and then making it live. Okay. Oh my God, it smells amazing. It's getting these wonderful colors. Instagram, you can probably see it better actually. Okay. I just love this recipe because we started literally and in 15 minutes we are done. I mean, I chop a little bit, but if it wasn't chopping, you're cooking really quick. All right, of course, one of the most important rules of the cooking kitchen of my kitchen is taste your food before you serve it. Let's do that right now. It's hot. Don't want to burn my tongue. Mmm. There's so much good there. I know what it needs. That might be a little salty. A little bit more soy sauce, just a drizzle, and a little bit more vinegar, because I like that kick to it. Again, make it the way you like. And add some green onions. Make it pretty. Let's review the four tips to get kids to expand their palates. Number one, get them to chop the veggies with you. That's how you get them to try new foods, try new veggies. Chop the veggies with the kids. Chop, chop the veggies with the kids. Rule number two, color. I want to see lots of color on that plate. And rule number three is, oh my gosh, I'm trying to do too many things at once. Rule number three is cook once a week, especially if you're not cooking already. Rule number four is hire a teacher to help you cook, help your kids learn how to cook, unless we do it with the nourishment. All right, guys, look at that right there. Turn that off. A little bit of this guy on top. Oh my gosh, just look at that. Look at that. Oh. Smells amazing, nice and hot and fresh. And now the moment of truth, I'm gonna sneak back just a little bit. Look at that. All right, and now I'm gonna try some of this. Again, what is this, like 15 bucks at a restaurant? I made at home for a fraction of that. 
I love the crunch of the green onion, the egg, that silkiness from the soy sauce. This is a phenomenal quick week, day or night, healthy dinner. Enjoy and have a good weekend. Get cooking. Bye.